So what is statistics? I think it's more helpful to think of statistics not so much as a field of study, but rather uh, as a tool. And uh, it is a tool that can be used uh, by people of many different majors. So most of most of you that uh, that are studying statistics, most students do not end up majoring in statistics. Instead, you know, you do you're majoring in chemistry, physics. Um, pharmaceutical or medicine, you know, econo economics, accounting, etc. Okay? So it's a tool set that is widely applicable, okay? and and I think that is a it is an important idea that is often forgotten. Right? So it, it really uh, uh, statistics is there to support or reject uh, certain hypotheses. Now, where do you get these hypotheses from? You get your hypothesis from other fields from other not like, your knowledge and studies from other field and then you use statistics to either confirm or reject your hypothesis right so it is a it is a process right? and it is very important you know, not to forget that right? oh, um, mean definition so statistics depending on the context it could mean one of two things so one is uh, is the art and science of collecting analyzing and presenting and interpreting data so for example this is a statistics class right? or that person she is a statistician okay now once you're in this class however right we'll use this second definition more uh, most likely right? statistics are numerical facts about a population or sample Right? So things like average, right? what's the average income, what is the average height, maximum, what's the maximum age, minimum, right? variance, proportion, right? these are measurements, right? they're numerical measurements, and they're facts, right? like for example, right? um, the maximum age of you know, students at CCSF right, is 85, right? that is a fact. Right, so that so that is a statistic. Right? Uh, so these are numerical facts. Now it doesn't have to be numerical. Uh, you know, statistic could also be characteristics, right? and, and, and so on. So we can be a little flexible here, and we'll talk a little bit more about this in chapter two. Right, that what kind of data set that that uh, uh, statistics um, uh, can we have? Okay. Uh, so this textbook that we have, and here are this is just some things I use uh, from the textbook. It is biased towards business and economics. Okay, so now obviously now clearly as I mentioned earlier, right, this is not the limit of the application of of statistics. Right, um, pharmaceutical, right, and this is a very um, um, you know, this is a very current issue, right? Like, for example, the issue of vaccines. How do you know if vaccine works, how effective it is, and etc. right? These all require statistical analysis, all right? So medicine, chemistry, right? Um, you know, again, there's in, um, a very broad range of field that, uh, that uh, statistics apply to. Now, because the textbook is business and economics, and I am the trained economist, uh, I uh, trained applied economist, uh, most of our examples in this class will be um, um, uh, will be uh, centered around a uh, business and a uh, business and economics. Okay, all right. Okay, so one important, the first important concept we need to understand is the difference between population and sample. All right. So a population is just a well-defined group. It could be things, people, animals, etc. Right. These are the things that we are. These are the group that we are trying. We are interested in studying. Right. Like for example, right. The pop. We could talk about the population of San Francisco. Right. So again, then. It's well defined. So uh, and now um, uh, the definition have to be clear. So when we say, "Oh, we we are interested in the population of San Francisco," uh, you know, we have to be clear on, "Oh, do we mean people who live in San Francisco, like people whose main residence is San Francisco, or do we are we talking about people who just happen to be in the geographic location?" Of San Francisco. All right. So that have to be clear. But before you begin any study, right, we need to be. Uh, we need to understand or be very clear on what the definition of the population is. Once you well define it, then uh, then we can um, you know then we can proceed. Right? Now, but here's the thing, right? So let's suppose that again, let's take the population of San Francisco. That's who we really care about, we want to know. However, 99% of the time, not a real statistics, right? We won't have the complete data set. We will never know exactly um, you know the, the measurements of every single person in San Francisco. Okay. So then, what do we do? Right. Well, we take a sample. Okay. So what is a sample? A sample is a representative subset of the population. Now, in chapter four, is uh, we're going to talk deeper about what exactly makes it a representative uh, subset. 
Okay. But I'll give you a basic idea, right? Suppose like again, we care about we care about the people in San Francisco. That's our population. We are we're interested in. Okay. But uh, let's say that we're interested in income, right? Uh, the the income of people in San Francisco. Okay. But of of course, we have no way of knowing, you know, like measuring everybody's income. Okay. So we take a sample. Right? Now, could the sample be? Uh, that should be a question mark there. Could the sample be uh, students of CCSF? Okay. Now, uh, now before we, you know, before you take a statistics class, uh, you, you guys haven't yet, right? We can kind of start to think about: uh, Is this a good representation? Okay. Um, I, and and I think intuitively, and and I, I really want you to dig in uh, to your intuition. And I think most of you, right? Or actually, all of you, right? Could you know if you think about this a little bit, right, you could see this a serious problem with using students of the CCSF as a sample for uh, for people in San Francisco. Right? For example, right, uh, you don't have to actually live in San Francisco to be a student of CCSF. Right, you could live in the North Bay, East Bay, right, or South Bay, and so the, that that that's one problem there. Right, so that automatically disqualifies a lot of the students right uh, in CCSF as a representation. All right, for SF. So that's one problem. All right, now two. All right, um, all right, two, um, it could be, we could have a biased sample. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, uh, you know, what do I mean by that? Well, you know, it could be have a, like, um, people, students of CCSF tend to be of a particular age or particular income group, right? And so that, right, might be biased and that, that, that might uh, not uh, represent, right, uh, represent um, uh, people of San Francisco accurately. Right. Now, I think if you think about it, right, most of you, I think, will agree, right? And you can see this. You can get a sense. Your intuition tells you that this is not a good sample. And what we're going to do in this class, really, it's kind of take what you already know and then put it in a more scientific way. Right? We're gonna, I'm going to teach you terminologies so it make you, make you sound more educated and, um, and also, and also uh, mathematically speaking, right, I'm going to show you how to... You know what what it really means to be a good sample, right? What does a random sample, right, really uh, really mean in the in in the mathematical sense? Okay, all right. Now remember the definition of statistics is a numerical fact about a population or a sample. So if the statistic is about the population, we call that a population statistic. If the statistics about the sample, we call that a sample statistic. Right. And the important thing to keep constantly keep in mind, and I'm going to keep reminding you for the whole semester. The population statistic, that's actually what we want to know, right? This is the, the quote-unquote truth, right, uh, regarding a population. That's what we care about, okay? But the sample statistic is what we actually know, right? These are facts. The sample statistics are the actual facts that we know. And statistics is going to be kind of an art to tr basically uh, how much inference right, can we go from sample to population, Right. I'll give you an example here. Right. Suppose we care about poverty rate or, or vaccine efficacy. Okay, now that's what we really care about. However, right, how do you measure poverty? Right. So one way, and a lot of cities do this, right, uh, is the number of food stamp applicants. So we could uh, sample, for example, we could sample 500, 500 residents and then uh, see how of the 500 residents, how many of them apply for food stamp. Okay, now, this is a popular way. Indeed, uh, many counties and cities use this method to calculate poverty rate. Right? Now, however, right, we can we can identify a couple of issues with this. One, does uh, uh, is everybody who apply for food stamp are they necessarily uh, um, a poor or in, under the poverty line? Uh, vice versa, is everybody who is poor are they applying for food stamps? Right? Uh, now. That alone, right? And there's always going to be issues with sample statistics. However, right, it does not mean that it does not mean that uh, um, you know we shouldn't do it, right? It could it could very well be that this is the best we got. Okay, so just understanding the limitations here. Uh, and then vaccine efficacy, right? We care about vaccine efficacy. So what do we have? Well, we have vaccine trial results. Okay. Now is this is this the um, the uh, best way, well, you know, is uh, um, depend, right? Depends, I, um, you know, uh, 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 depends, you know, right? How's the sample, right? Uh, people selected representative, who's uh, so there's there are different things, right? But then assuming that we 
collect all that and we are confident in that process, right? Then we can be confident, right, that this is a good representation. But the key thing to keep in mind always is that we never truly know the population statistics. We never truly know this, right? Everything is just an estimate. Okay? All right. And so let's let's uh, let's explore this a little bit deeper, right? Let's try to answer a simple question. Okay, what is the average income of people in San Francisco? Now, if I ask most of you to answer this question, I assume most of you will go directly to Google. Okay, so let's take a look here. 